Hi, Boys and Girls Club members and families. Uh, my name is Jesse. I'm Associate Club Director of Team Programming at Taft, and I'm here again to teach you about another card game. Uh, as many of you know, if you've seen my videos so far, I do love card games. And today I'm going to teach you one that's a one-person game. So if you're at home during these days and you're doing your schoolwork and you find yourself with a little free time, it's a game that you can just play by yourself uh, it's that I find enjoyable and I do often, and I hope you do too. So the game that we're going to talk about today is Solitaire, and I have it set up how it would start. The objective of Solitaire is to get the four suits, which I'm showing you here with the aces. There's diamonds, there's clubs, there's hearts, and there's spades built up from the aces, which you would put out here when we get a chance, all the way up to the kings. So it's ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. And you got to try to build up all four suits to those kings to win. And the way you do it is I'm going to demonstrate here, out here, I'm going to get rid of these cards because they're actually not part of this deck. But I have a game set up, like I said, starting here. And as you can see, I do have one ace. So once you have an ace of any of suit, you can put it out there to start and you turn the next card up. These piles are set up. There's seven total piles. Each one has one additional card. So there's one card here, two cards here. There was three cards here, four, five, six, and seven cards. And the top one, as you can see in each pile, is turned up. And how we build our startup is that um, each card, uh, starting here, can be built going like this to create room. You can go down, but it has to go alternate from red, black, red, black, red, black. So if I had like the ten of hearts here, I couldn't put it on top of the jack. But since it's a black ten, I can put it here. And as you see now, there's a red nine, I can put it there. And it has to continue alternating. And then I had another ace that comes up, so I can put that out here. The only things that can go in free spaces are kings, which I happen to have one here on this pile, so I can put it there. And then as you can see, I now have the two of clubs, which comes next in our sequence up here with aces, so I put it there. When I no longer have any moves here, I can go to the deck of cards that I still have left. And the challenging way to play Solitaire in the way I'm going to show you is by turning three at a time. You could also turn one at a time when you're practicing this if you like. But I'm going to turn three at a time. When I turn three at a time, I can only play the top card. Um, and in this instance, there was still another free space that was created, so I can put the king right there. And then I can now play the next top card if I have a move, but I do not have a move, so I will flip to the next three cards. And the game continues on in this fashion, looking for moves, um, looking for aces, or I'm looking for a black eight or a black four to build upon these here uh, to create spaces, or a black queen, as I just got there, which then allows me to play the red jack on top of it and turn up another card in this pile. Over here I have the black 2 that I can build there, and this black 8 can go on the red 9. So you continue to build and create and open up spaces to keep the game going. When I get to the end of this pile that I had here, I just turn it over and begin again. I know there will be different cards because I did have some plays that I made, which changes the sequence of the cards. The black four I can play on the red five, which opens up either one of these red threes I can choose to play. I'll choose this one because I know there's more cards here that maybe give me more options. And it turns out that another black four comes up, so I can play this red three. You won't always win at this game. It is a challenging game, especially when you play with uh, turning it over three at a time. When you turn it over one at a time, that gives you a lot more options and a chance to win, but it's just a challenging game. You can see if you can win. I'm going to try to keep, go a little faster here as I know I'm getting more towards the end where I'm starting to run out of moves, it looks like. And unfortunately, it does look like I'm not going to win unless something changes quickly here, but that's okay. You can just play another one right afterwards, and you don't have to tell anyone you lost. You can say you're undefeated at Solitaire. Uh, which is what I will say at this point as I've run out of moves. Uh, I'm still undefeated at Solitaire because I'm the only one playing, but I hope it's a game you enjoy. This was just the basics. Uh, you might have to get a little practice to start understanding the strategy and uh, ways to continue to open up moves and play, but I hope you enjoy the game of Solitaire. I hope we see you guys back at the club soon, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.